One of the fastest ways to take up space in your carry-on luggage is by overpacking your toiletries. Today, I'm gonna share with you my newish guide on how to simplify your toiletry packing, making your travel experience a lot less stressful before you even leave your house. Let's go. The first strategy is to make sure that you have the right toiletry bag for you. I'm partial to a toiletry bag that has multiple different compartments so I can categorize my items. This tripped travel bag is perfect for me because it comes with multiple different pouches and the main toiletry bag has multiple different pockets. One that even allows you to access it from both the inside of the bag and the outside. The pouches have a little bit of a stretch to them, so it makes it very easy to accommodate oddly shaped containers. We all have some of those. <laughs> of course, one of my favorite components is the 311 TSA approved liquids bag, which they included and that can easily attach to your personal item if airport security asks you to take it out. However, fingers crossed, it does appear that the liquids bag requirements might be going away. While I was traveling in Japan and Korea, I had the opportunity to go through three different international airports and I was never asked about a liquids bag and no one else was taking them out of their bags. In fact, the only thing I ever had to take out of my bag in two of the airports was my computer. In one of the airports, I didn't have to take anything out. And we got to keep our shoes on through all three airports. So hopefully we're getting there. Strategy number two, figure out what you really need to bring with you on the trip. Check to see if your accommodations provide shampoo, conditioner, or other toiletry supplies. Every single place we stayed in Japan and Korea, both the hotels and the Airbnbs, had a full selection of really nice shampoos, conditioners, body wash. Most of them even had toothbrushes and toothpaste. These little baby toothpaste tubes, they're just so cute. <laughs> and razors, Q-tips, some of them even had brushes. The amenities that we have, we have a toothbrush, a nail brush, I think. A hairbrush. That's a hairbrush? That's a hairbrush. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. A couple of razors and two Q-tips a piece. Ration yourself. Ration those Q-tips. That's a lot of stuff to not have to pack. Strategy number three. Unless you have a special occasion or event during your trip, this is not the time for aspirational packing. I've talked about aspirational packing a lot when it comes to packing snacks and clothes, but it's very important to think about when you are packing your toiletries too. That special foundation that you only use like once or twice a month, you don't need to pack that. You're not gonna use it. <laughs> or that seven step skincare routine that has like three serums and a cleanser or a toner, or moisturizers, multiple moisturizers that you really only use like once or twice a week. Yeah, you don't need that either. Because if you're not using it at home normally, you're not gonna be using it while you're out traveling. Instead, pack those products that you absolutely use every day and would maybe be a little out of sorts if you didn't have it with you. For me, that includes my proven skincare set, which I brought with me and used every day. I want to thank Proven for sponsoring this video and for helping me get rid of some very pesky dry spots on my face. I have been using Proven for about a month before I left on my trip and I, I didn't want to lose any of those positive results that I had started seeing. Like I said, there's dry spots going away, my rosacea was starting to not be so red, <laughs> and you know, my skin was feeling a lot smoother. So I, I wanted to make sure that I continued to get those positive results. Luckily, Proven Skincare System is only three products. Their system includes a 
daily cleanser, a day moisturizer with SPF, and a night cream. And each step is created with complementary ingredients to target multiple concerns at once. That's why you don't need so many things. And each container is less than two ounces. It was super easy to pack in my toiletry bag. It took just a few minutes every day to use, so no matter how much we had shoved into our itinerary for the day, I could always squeeze my skincare in. In fact, because my specialized formula that they created based on 47 different factors, including my lifestyle, heritage, and environment, it includes zinc oxide for very strong sun protection. So I was able to eliminate an extra step in getting ready every day. I absolutely love that Proven is a cruelty-free company and they only use clean ingredients. Not to mention, it's delivered to my door every eight weeks, saving me time and money that I can put towards my next trip. If you use my Proven link, tryprovenskin.com slash GenXGypsy and the promo code GenXGypsy, you'll receive 50% off your first order, which includes your personalized skincare system. Again, a big thank you to Proven for supporting this channel and sponsoring this video. It's not only a great way to lighten up your toiletry bag, but also free up time in your life to do more fun things. Again, I will have the links below for you to use the code GenXGypsy along with the link tryprovenskin.com slash GenXGypsy for 50% off your first order. Strategy number four, just like I was able to eliminate facial sunscreen from my packing list because it was already included in my proven daily moisturizer, you should look for other products that can serve multiple purposes. Another multi-purpose product that I use is my bronzer because I'll use my bronzer for, well, bronzer and blush and some light contouring. Also bring some coconut oil to use to remove my waterproof mascara, help tame this frizzy hair, and sometimes at night I'll put it on my lips to sleep in so that it keeps them moist. <laughs> I know that a lot of people love the Dr. Bronner's for shampoo and body wash and laundry detergent, but I honestly find that it is way too harsh for me. But I did read somewhere about potentially decanting it into another bottle and diluting it for travel. But honestly, I'd rather just ditch that extra liquid, which leads us to strategy number five, which is to switch to solid options that don't generally take up as much space. I've done a whole video on reviews of solid toiletry options, which I'll have linked in the description below and that first pinned comment so it's easier to find. But if you use a solid shampoo and or conditioner, you don't have to bring that whole bar with you. You can just cut off the little bit that you think you'll need for the trip and pack that, saving quite a bit of space. And another solid option that I think is a great space saver are deodorant wipes. I've been using these deodorant wipes from Amazon and I love them. Now I took regular deodorant with me to Japan because I had a checked bag and I was going to be there for 30 days and I didn't want to bring 30 packs of deodorant wipes, but um, I did bring a few to have for like freshening up during the day and especially on the different flights that we took. The scent is very, very light and my sensitive skin has had no allergic reactions. I, I really like them. Lastly, Another favorite solid are these laundry sheets, which I used throughout our trip to Japan. Usually I just take a few of these and cut them into little squares so that I can use them to wash items in the sink. But in the future, I'm gonna add a couple of full size sheets too for those occasions when I have access to a real washer and dryer, which I did on this trip and I wish I'd had some full sheets with me. Strategy number six, don't pack just in case items. <laughs> I think this is the hardest lesson I've had to learn and honestly, I'm still learning. <laughs> Most places we're traveling to are not remote areas of the world. Everywhere I've traveled in the last several years have convenience stores and pharmacies that are easy to access. In fact, 
Usually I never even need the items I've packed for just in case, and it ends up being something else that I need to go buy. This time it was allergy medicine because I don't know what I was thinking. I thought my allergies would just disappear when I got to Japan. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> I think you should still have a minimal first aid for immediate care, but there's no need to bring full bottles of medicines or a bunch of medicines because Murphy's Law whatever you bring is probably not going to be what you need because you can't bring everything. And strategy number seven, decant, decant, decant. <laughs> Try to figure out how much you really need of each item for the time that you're gonna be traveling. Because I was traveling for a month, I packed my full-size proven skincare containers. But if I were only going for a week or two, I would have decanted them into smaller containers. Just because a product is in a container that is 100 milliliters or 3.4 ounces or less, does not mean you need to take all 100 milliliters or 3.4 ounces. Try to take the time before your trip to figure out how much you need of each product really, and then put that amount into a smaller container. I really like using contact lens cases or the little, you know, tiny little jars that you can get from Amazon that are leak proof. Either of those work really well, but just find a way to put it into a smaller container. Between being very realistic in what your actual needs are and decanting, you will save so much room in your toiletry bag. If you're looking for some tips and ideas on how to pack your personal item for your next flight, check this video out. And don't forget to check out my proven link, tryprovenskin.com slash GenXGypsy and use my promo code GenXGypsy to receive 50% off of your first order, which includes your personalized skincare system that you can use for your next trip.